Linda already said it's 4 o'clock instead of 5 because of the time change. We're good. Yes. OK, so I got to change the clock because it's like 2 minutes to 12. So I just found out it's 12 noon. So welcome, everybody, to Festool Live. It's Festool Friday. And we're ready for the weekend here. Hey, remember this weekend, everybody who lives at, is it just the US or is it all of uh, Canada too, man? I, I don't know. Okay, so it's daylight savings time. Chris, can you look at that up now? No, okay, everybody. <laughs> okay, this Sunday morning don't, or Saturday night before bed, don't forget, this is fall back, right? We turn them back an hour? Yes. Okay, so there we go. So. The Fest Tool Live now, I'm going to start celebrating it, so we'll be back. And I'm just kidding. Okay, you ready? All right, so I got to announce the room. We have Gage over here, the whiz. We have Dan, the man. He's on the board today with Gage. We have Chris, the unit. <laughs> Cybert on the camera. Nice. Okay. We have Min Min over here. Hey, everybody. She, hey, don't forget to tell us where you're from. Florida. Florida. Still. Still. There you go. Mini G. All right. And on the line, we have Brent answering all your questions. OK. Hey, Chris, I want you to pay attention to my board. What does that mean? No idea. T. It's a T. And there's a reason for that. OK. And we have a new person that's part of our crew today. I will get you a T-shirt. OK. But uh, Mini, come on over. I got you a T-shirt here. I got a t -shirt. Yep. Check it out. Look, how, look what they say, man. Check it out. It's a Festool Live shirt. No. I've been, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been wanting these for a long time. OK? But it's better than the last ones, because guess what it says on the back? Oh. Woo, baby! And guess what? You can't get them, because you have to work on the Festool Live crew. OK? I got one here for Gage. Oh, nope, nope. That's Chris's. No. Way, check it out, crew. Oh, Dan, I'll order you one, the man, because you're now part of the crew. And everybody, this is a very special one, because this is the guy behind the camera. Brent, we got you one, we got everybody. But somebody mentioned that this should be special for him, and I wonder whose this no. is. Way, the unit, baby! All right. <laughs> That's amazing. Isn't that great? I want to change. Right? No, I'm gonna. No way. No changing. Hold the camera. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, everywhere we travel, everybody goes up, and Chris is standing there, and I go, "You're the unit." <laughs> so I guess just calling him a name, everybody knows him. All right. So back to reality. Uh, this is episode 157, and when I started setting this up this week. I said, how am I going to explain this? And then through the course of the last two days, um, Yvonne and Kevin and Garrett and everybody who was mentioning some stuff to me, I went, oh, I can include that. I think I've included too much. <laughs> so I don't want to be confusing. I want to be educating you on the right choice. This is called corded versus cordless. And we have that question all the time. Which track, saw, which track saw should I get? Which Capex should I get? Which sander should I get? What jigsaw should I get? <laughs> OK, so I'm going to take my time doing this today to not confuse you. But I'm also going to talk about whether I'm using dust extraction or not. And you're going to see a few things, because Chris and I have been shooting a lot of videos together. And uh, we're quite amazed at some of the things that we see and we demo for the camera. And I'm going to include that today as well. Um, I think I'm going to start right away with the track saw. How about that? You guys all good with that? Minnie, are you good with that? I am. Minnie! Hey, check out, hey, check out Minnie's t-shirt. Check that hey. out. Wow. Oh, I'm glad. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to say it. All right. I Woo! I go, she changed? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> You have to hold the camera unit. I know. I know but I know right after the Festool Live, you'll put on your new oh, T-shirt. Yeah, you know it. OK. All right. So we have a TS-55, the newest one. All right. And we have the TSC. That's the cordless track saw 55. And I got to go back a few years back. 
where we came out with the cordless track saw, uh, the TS-50, and that's the first time we put the 1.8 millimeter blade on there. And, but we still had on the 55, the 2.2. It got to the point, the only one I was using here in the shop was the TSC, because the 1.8 millimeter thin kerf means, makes such a difference. That went on to the TS-60, the TS-60V, and the TS-55. So, when somebody asks me the, all these years, what should I get, corded or cordless? I go, and this has changed over the years, so bear with me. I would say, hey, do you ever go out and about? Uh, do you work on a job site? And they go, no. And are you always near electricity? They go, yeah, I'm in my shop. Then get the corded one. You get all that power. But what has happened is technology, like it always changes. And it seems like nowadays battery technology changes every six months. The power, the efficiency of the battery has gotten better and better and better. So there's a lot of folks here at Festool when we're doing whether a demo or working and building a wall, we reach, we reach for the cordless track saw. Um, it's just that 1.8 millimeter makes a difference to the point where there was sometimes, because of depth, if I was uh, ripping inch in a, okay, I gotta do this uh, in Imperial, inch and a half, six quarter, I would reach for my 75 because of the power. Not anymore, I reach for the TSC. Um, and I'm always, I got electricity all over here, but there's another thing that you will see today because of Chris. There's tons of tripping hazards with the cords. Okay, and that's another reason people on job sites or even in the home shops go cordless because you don't have to, what, plug in and there's no trip and hazard. So there's a lot to this and hopefully I do a good enough job to help you make a decision on what you should put now I, in your shop now I, or on the job site. But I will tell you this, you've seen this recently on a lot of new tools we've come out with, whether the CSE, the sustainer saw, or the KSC, the cordless Capex, or the RSC, the new reciprocating saw. 18 volt is the platform, all right? And going forward, the cordless, the breadth of the Festool lineup of cordless in the 18 volt will grow and grow and grow. So, in saying that, maybe that might help you make a choice too. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick rip here with the TS55 REQF. Whew. Boy, I'm, I'm gonna be Mr. Acronym by the end of the day. Chris, what's half a 50? Uh, 25. You're really good at metric, all right, good. Okay, so I'm gonna set this up. Chris is, I'm Mr. Acronym and Chris is Mr. Metric. Okay, so I've covered so much with track saws and the Festool Lives, um, and I will always continue because this is one of my favorite tools. But remember, before you're ripping, double check to see that you're going to start before you enter the material. Always full speed, then plunge, and you're going to see <clears throat> how effortless, well, you'll see it, but you won't feel it like I am how smooth this is and how effortless. And you're going to see a high quality cut rip, but little or no dust extraction. That, that saw, the TS-55, gets 96% of the dust, all right? Now, so doesn't, and I'm gonna switch this out, look, no cord, and there's a lot of times in here I just take the cord, set it aside, I grab my, oh, let me get my limit stop because I want to get the right offset here. This is just a quick way to do it. This is the limit stop for plunge cutting, but this gives me a great easy cut line so I can bury the blade. I'm going to grab my hose, and there's a lot of times I use the cordless track saw with the hose. Okay, so let's do that. And hopefully we can see this with the lighting. I'm gonna get it here and watch. I'm gonna check to see. Okay, I'm forward of the cut. Now I just wanna see if I still have this Bluetooth. Okay, I do. The Bluetooth battery turns it on. I synced it earlier. And you're gonna see 
It's just as smooth because they share what? The 1.8 millimeter blade. There's a difference between the two where the 55 still has the riving knife. You'll see that right there, okay, for kickback. But the 55 TSC has the anti-kickback stop, so it'll shut it down and reset itself after. Okay, so you have anti-kickback stop on there. Now, let's do this, because we're going to do this a few times during the Fest Tool Live. Because Chris, let's look at the floor. Each time we use the track saw today, both times we got 96% of the dust. So, I, this is my favorite demonstration of all time for dust extraction. Okay, let's look inside the bag. Yes, we're going to put the bag on. Let's look. It's my Las Vegas magic trick. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, we're going to take it like this. We're gonna bring it over, and now we're gonna be, we're gonna have total freedom. No hose, no cord. Yes, will the bag work on the 55F, the corded version, yes. But I'm gonna take it like this, I'm gonna make sure my splinter guard's down, you know what? I'm gonna make sure I take a cut with my limit stop. There's my six millimeter offset. Whoop, 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 whoop. Man. Okay, I'm gonna make that cut. Okay, so you see a little bit of dust flying out here, but it's just a little. Beautiful. So, Chris, I'm just gonna set this aside for your cleanup afterwards. Perfect. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, now, are we using that overhead? Right here where I made the mark, I want to show you. This is what 90% of the dust equates to. And yes, it goes almost all in the bag. Look at that. So if you're not using dust extraction in your shop, you are inhaling all that fine dust. So it's not just about cordless versus corded. It's about dust extraction versus no dust extraction. So there you go. You know, in the early, in the early um, Festool Lives, I was done for the day. But wait, there's more. Okay, Chris, follow me. Hey, Chris, don't, don't, don't trip on the cord. Okay, we're good like that? Okay, so let's go over to the Capex. Or plural for Capex is Cape High. I don't know if you know that. Okay, so when we look at this, the, we have the KS120. It's a bigger blade versus the KSC60, I'll go down there, smaller blade versus a, it's basically a 10 and a quarter versus a uh, eight and a quarter. Okay, so when we come over here, there's a lot of differences because they're different saws, but there's something the KS120 has. It has what? A cord, right? So, there's, somebody was in this week and they liked the KSC. They were trying to decide, they got power, but they liked the portability, uh, the smaller footprint of the KSC. Um, the depth of cut on the KS120, these are the things you have to make a, um, a uh, I'll put this away. Uh, you have to make that decision. Do I need the depth of cut? So the depth of cut on the KS120 because of the biggest blade, or the bigger blade, all right, is what is three and a half. On the KSC60, it's two and three eighths. Now for me, that's more than enough in my shop. I don't cut a lot of big four by fours or a three and a half by three and a half. So do, that's what I'm trying to think of in my shop because I got power right behind there, but it's a smaller footprint. And that makes a difference too. The height's a little bit lower. It's more compact. Okay, but once again, and I wanted to demonstrate this because someone was saying the, not too long ago, they were not sure about the power or the cutting capacity. I've seen so many people, <coughs> whether they're using the KSC60 or the KS120, they make multiple cuts. You don't have to. Look, watch, I'm gonna take this up. This has a laser, of course, okay. I always bring it all the way out, down, and I let the machine do its job, okay? And I leave it down in the cut, okay? 
Wow, Chris, do you read a lot? Yep. I'll make, this is your bookmark. Okay, good. Now, now I'm going to take the same board, okay? Knock on wood. Let's go over here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Don't, hey, don't trip on the cord, Chris. Okay, good. Okay, so the KS120, the original KPEX, uses a laser. Here it's a shadow line. All right, it uses the screw clamp here, but a lot of people say, is it got enough power? Well, the nice thing about it is, and here's where I'm gonna go on a tangent. So hang in there. All right. You're gonna see in a few minutes, I'm gonna be using the MIDI, okay? The corded MIDI down by my jigsaws. I'm not gonna bring it over here. This is a self-contained system, system where you have with, with Bluetooth, the CTC MIDI. So when I turn on the Capex, because I have a Bluetooth battery here that I have synced, I have dust extraction. I can go and cut anywhere. I mean, that was our big thing with the uh, uh, CSC, boy, I'm Mr. Acronym, with the cordless table saw that we came out with, two batteries, okay? Um, where you, with the MIDI, the cordless MIDI now, you could go out on a job site and you don't have to fight for electricity with the other contractors. Same thing with the saw. And you can set this saw up in a trailer or a van down, down by the river. Just kidding. All right, I always have to throw a Chris Valley in there, you know? All right, so when I'm cutting with this, oh, what is the measurement of this board? Is it six quarter? Oh, that's, wow, that's pretty good. It's almost 50 millimeters, it's almost two inch. So let's check it out. You know what? I'm gonna really go overboard for you, Chris, because that one over on the Capex was a little too thick. I'm gonna <laughs> bring that over. So see the uh, shadow line? That is your, oh. let me bring it out a little for you, Chris. Hey, I'll make one for Emily as, as a wedding present. How's that? <laughs> and it's so well powered, it's getting the lion's share of what? Of the dust. Oh yeah, okay, this one's for Emily. She'll love it. I'm, I'm making bookmarks. Hey, check it out. I'm making bookmarks over here. I just need to be in a library. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right. So that's the difference. Do you want a smaller footprint? Do you want extreme portability, extreme freedom? I don't have to worry about n anything going on that job site. It'll save you time, I promise you. And what? Look, let's look around. Chris, bring it down here. There's no tripping hazards except for the hose that's in, in the bot and uh, back. So it's just something to think about when you're looking to say, hey, I want a Capex or I want a track saw. Or let's go over here, Chris. Hey, hey Chris, don't trip on that cord. Okay, good. Okay. Chris, uh, <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna step over here. I'm gonna unplug my Capex. I'm gonna take my plug it cord, put it in here. And I'm gonna talk about another Another category that we have three sanders in, but I always choose the DTS 400. <clears throat> this is the DTS C 400. So if I'm in the shop at home, I have one of these sanders, okay? Uh, I don't go out and do anything anymore on the job site, or I try not to, don't get any ideas. I know you just got a new house, Chris, okay? So when I turn this on, Okay, I have this, and the DTS I just love because I call this an adjacent surface sander. It's not miring up against the side of my cabinet or anything like that. It doesn't bump or anything. This is one of the most wonderful sanders we have. But we also have this version, and this is the cordless. We call this the hybrid because yes, you have Bluetooth, right? And I, that's why I have it set up. I have it, actually, I have it set up today right here with the, um, the CT25, okay? If I took that, and here's the difference between the 25 and the MIDI, okay? I have the MIDI. Chris, can we get over here and see all these cords? I'm really, really afraid of tripping. 
okay? okay? I mean, it's a nest back here. But if I hook up my DTS here, okay, I have to bend over because that is not Bluetooth compatible. You can't put Bluetooth on the CT25 or the CT15. But it comes with the CT MIDI and the CTC MIDI. So if I have a Bluetooth battery right here, I can sync it to my MIDI. Hopefully you follow that. But there's a lot of times, watch, I'm standing with this and I'm going to bring the speed all the way up. Okay, and I don't see a lot of dust. So it comes with a bag. And every time I see a bag on a tool on other brands over the years, I was like, might as well just get rid of the bag. Nothing goes in those canisters or bags. This is an absolutely amazing system. So I'm going to dump out some of that dust I've been collecting. Okay, I won't brush that on you, Chris. Okay, and I, you're welcome. And I'm going to put this back on here. Okay, I want you to see, hopefully we can get a good look at this. I'm going to turn this back on and watch how that dust goes right in there. Just like that. I'm going to scoop up all that dust. See how it's going right in on the side? And we capture it in these holes. Check this out, Minnie. Look at this. Isn't that neat? Look how that's being captured. It, that uh, <laughs> but there you go. Now, the nice thing about this, because we have Bluetooth and we hooked it up to the MIDI, I can hook it up to a dust extractor when I'm in the shop. But the way I would do it is I would take the battery off and we have a hybrid. There's no cells in here, but I can lock that in like this. See that? And I could take my plug it cord and my hose hook it right up, hook it right in here, and now I have an electric sander accorded. So you get the best of both worlds with the DTSC, the RTSC, and the ETSC <laughs> uh, 125. Whew, I'm going to wake up saying C tonight. Okay. So hopefully that helps you make a decision. We have seen a lot of people just go with the hybrid version of the DTSC and the ETSC and the ETS, ETSC 125. Did I get that, Minnie? Uh -huh. oh, oh, boy. Okay, over here. This is going to be a fun one because Chris and I were experimenting with this earlier. Um, I set up, and I was going to go through the whole setup of the Cavex, but there's a whole episode of Festool Live on the, on the Cavex. It's funny because we have the, I love these. I'm, I'm a barrel grip. We have them in uh, top handle as well, whether corded or cordless. Um, these are the long blades, 145s. Um, this is the Japanese set. And this is the uh, Carvex with a heavy set, the FSG. They're both 145s. Over the years, people say, what's the difference? Uh, the Carvex, I did this earlier, the Carvex will, g will give you that 90 degrees once it's set up. Same thing with the Japanese style set on that one. But the difference is the sidewall, okay? Uh, that's the Carvex, it's rough, rough timber. Check this out, the Japanese set is wicked smooth. So that's the difference between the blades. Check it out, Cybert's get. Hey everybody, just so you know, that was Chris's hand. He doesn't like to be in front of a camera. He just broke his own motto right there. <laughs> All right, Cybert, woo! Okay. okay, you know what? We ought to have a Fest Tool Live just on the unit. All right. I'll be down. So, over the years, people will say, and I heard this more and more and more with cordless. Oh, I don't use, uh, e <coughs> even with corded, ah, I don't get a lot of dust extraction with the jigsaw, uh, so I just don't use dust extraction. Do you remember a couple episodes ago the difference between the RSE, the reciprocating saw, with and without? So we were in here experimenting earlier, me, not unit, okay, and I'm going to run because look, look how portable this is. I could go out to job site, maybe do some coping or whatever. I'm completely portable. But, and I don't have the cord to get in the way. That's why we have on the cordless version, when I'm cutting inside a cabinet, I have that swivel up on the PS420. Okay, now, I'm going to make a cut with this <clears throat> without dust extraction.
I got everything set up. It won't take that long. Okay, here we go. There's a lot of dust, eh? Okay. So, I want to compare apples to apples. Okay, let's get this in here. Okay, I want you to get that. You got that unit? Okay, I'm going to get this out of the way. I'm going to grab my floor sweep here. Okay, it's one of my favorites. I got Bluetooth on there. Give me a sec. You know what? Look at this, Minnie. Look how the cord gets in the way here. It is a pill. It <laughs> Did that come through? <laughs> oh my God, Minnie. <laughs> Minnie said, it is a pill. All right. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sweep this up because I want to compare apples to apples. Wow, these floor sweeps are wonderful. Hey, I just got hooked. All right. <laughs> but it's still a wicked perpendicular cut, I'll tell you that. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> clean that off, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to hook up dust extraction. So you saw without. Now let's do with. I always have tried over the years to use dust extraction with my Cavex or even my try-on jigsaws. I don't like to clean up a lot. Is there going to be cleanup? Yes, but it's going to be so much less. All right, I want to just see if I got the Bluetooth on here. I do. So I'm going to start her. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, Chris. Hang on, hang on. Let's get this in here. I think that, my friends, is a significant difference. Wouldn't you say, how's that coming across over there? Pretty big, huh? Okay. Now, come on, Chris, follow me here. Okay, let's look. You know the beauty that we don't talk about because we're so used to it with the Festool system? I have this little piece of plastic right here. Let's call it splinter gad. And guess what? That's a splinter-free cut. So there's some things that the jigsaws do that nobody else will produce on any other jigsaw, let alone a bandsaw. <sighs> That's all I have to say about that. Okay. How was that, huh? Not bad? Let me see if I've covered everything. Capex, track saws, I'm forgetting something, I don't care. DTS, oh. Now, there's something in the Festool system that we don't have corded, that I have waited and waited and waited until I had heard five years ago we were coming out with this. And this is one of my favorite tools. It's the new RSC18. I just need a battery. This thing is so daggone powerful, it's ridiculous. I can't. <laughs> I can't wait to use it this weekend to cut down all my trees. I'm just kidding, okay? This is, okay, everybody out there, I want you to raise your hands if you've used the corded saws all. We're watching you, by the way. We're looking through your uh, computer monitors. We can tell if you're raising your hand. Okay, if you've ever used a corded reciprocating saw and you're cutting out beams for demolition, that cord gets in the way, especially overhead and you're trying to cut stuff out. Once you use a cordless reciprocating saw, you will not go back. So I am so glad we finally came out with this. So I can, my corded reciprocating saw is broken, but I still couldn't throw it away until we got this. It was my dad's. It was an old uh, brand, it came in a metal box. It was a Tiger saw and it was corded. So I couldn't, i just so excited that this came out. And you saw in that episode a few episodes ago, the dust extraction is exceptional. And it's...
Ooh. That's all I have to say about that. I didn't want to cut it all apart. Okay. So get yourself an RSC 18. And we don't have corded in that because cordless rules. All right. I think that's it. I think I've covered everything I needed to cover. There's going to be a lot more. Chris needs to go change into his new t-shirt. I'm so excited. I know you I are. I'm so excited. You are, aren't you? Hey, say that in the mic. I'm so excited. Yeah, boy. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter. You're the rock star. Okay, so insane rock star. Chris will be appearing very soon at Hatville Hardware and Lumber in Hatville, Ohio. So there's a lot of people on my ball on this board, and we're going to see you there, I believe. So we're really excited. We figured out the topic in January, what we're going to discuss there. We're going to do a fest tool live there on that Friday. It's, a, it's a Dece uh, November 17th and 18th, but November 17th is the Friday. Um, so Chris is doing, I'm going to be holding the camera, and Chris is doing <laughs> the fest tool live. The unit! All right, okay. Manny, why do you do that? You put the really hard ones first. Okay, so come here. Come here. I'm going to read off the names. How do you say that? That's the name, right? Mm hmm Synod? That works for me. It is a C. Okay, I'm not kidding. Come here, unit. Look at this. I think that's Senide. Senide? Sarn, Melthorin, Poilheli, and North Wales. Okay, good. He's actually sitting at the third table from the door at... Ty Newid Sarn. No kidding. Yeah. Oh, so. Yeah. My wall is not that long. Okay. We got it. I think I got it. I think All right. You did. Boy, right? I got to go to North Wales for a pronunciation lesson. You do. All right. So we have Dana from Yalcott, Washington. We have Johnny O from Atco, New Jersey. Bland and Bob from Beaverton, Oregon. Gerald from Derrida, LA. Johnny from Hoffman States, Illinois. Mm -hmm. Mavin. That's my main man, Mavin. Wow from Holland, Michigan. We have Bermuda Steve. We have Merlin from Walla Walla, Washington. We have Steve from Bellevue, Nebraska. Tom from Seymour, Indiana. Maddie from Cincy. Hey, Maddie, I'll be December 2nd. I'll see you there. I'm at Mueller. Mueller, Mueller. Leather by Dragonfly. At Bent's Woodworking, no way. Oh, that's right, Michelle and Patrick, you're in town. How are you? Oh, and you're at Jason's house? Oh, okay. Dawn from Tuscumbia, Alabama. Dave from Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Stephen from Ottawa, Canada. I almost said Ottawa. 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 But that's Ottawa, Canada. Yes. Okay, not California. Correct. Canada. Correct. Okay. Whew. Ben from Chicago. See, that's an easy one. I know. Okay. Matt from Newark, Ohio. Michael from Puyallup, Washington. That used to be a difficult one. We have Engineer Mike from New Hyde Park, New York. We have Aquinlo from Hoxton, London, UK. Seth from Dayton, Ohio. Steve from Elk Ridge, Utah. Uh, Apo from Aka, uh, 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 Finland. We have Daniel from Barrettwil, Switzerland. Johnny Ringo. That's such a good name. It is. Johnny Ringo from Searsport, Maine, and that's a really beautiful place. We have Mac from Wake Forest, North Carolina. We have Gerhard from Ottawa, Canada. Hey, that's, that's a two-pack from Ottawa. We have Scott from Greeley, Colorado. Andre from Norway. Gary from Beers with the Boys. How you doing, Mr. Furness? We have Brian Bahama. Oh, Bahama Brian, I know you. You're a brother. We have the Warped Woodsman from Portland, Oregon. We have Dave, and what's her name? Yeah. Gwen. We'll see you at Hatfield, guys. Mitchell K. from Westside, L.A. We have Salim from Federal Way, Washington. We have Alan from Noblesville, Indiana. Do you know what that is, unit? Okay. So. We have Ray from Pensacola. We have Michelle from Paris. Andrew from Toledo. Dave from Portland, Oregon. Joe from Waseca, Illinois. Rob. <laughs> Ra from South Devon, England. Mike M, Mr. Martinez from Austin, Texas, my brother. Dominic from Dedham, Mass. Jeff from Clarksburg, Maryland. 
Mac S. from Wet... Woodcraft, Springfield, Virginia. Mac, you're always there with us. Thank you. We have Mike C. from Winchester, VA. We have Robert from Kenville, Nova Scotia. <laughs> wow, he's starting to shake, everybody. We have Thomas from Downers Grove, Illinois. See, I can pronounce it right. The other Warren from Caldwell, Idaho. Jason from Fenton, Michigan. Paul, Cheryl, and Sam from Anthem, Arizona. Ouch, that hurts. Funny bone. Why, why does it hurt so much when they call it a funny bone? It's not funny. We have Dale from Swadilinco, England. Russ, my main man, Russ from Ch Chester. Jason and Yana from Granite Falls, Washington. How you guys doing? I hope you are ready for a nice holiday season. We have Dragon from Serbia. Jerry G from, hey, I know you, Jerry G from Sugar Grove, Illinois. We have Monty from Canton, Connecticut. Wood <coughs> Woodcraft and crew from Dayton, Ohio. Do you who they know? Dirk from Dayton. We have Mark. He's right here, baby. All right. We have Matt, Matt from Tinley Park, Illinois. We have Chris from Springfield, Oregon. We have a lot of people from Oregon. And we have Mich Michael or Michelle from Edmonton, Alberta. Dan from Wright Stone, New York. Tom and Kelly, always with us from Eatonton, Georgia. Rob from Cinnaminson, New Jersey. Mark from Los Angeles, California. Willie Spack, Trish, and Edric from Citrus Heights, California. Okay, Edric from Citrus Heights, California. Norman from Los Angeles. Jim from Pensacola. Joe and Henry. Henry's a Boston Terrier. I love Boston Terriers from Akron, Ohio. Hey, it's Joe. Is that Joe from Akron? Hey, Joe. What up, Joe? What up, Joe? Chris from Malta. Always with us, Chris. Thank you. Forum and Brim from Central Ohio. Mark from Walney Island. The Festool Capita from the UK. Holy macanoli. Wow. I'm going to have to take the weekend off. We have Oliver from Southern California. Chris, be careful not to trip on the cord. We have Robbie from Juan Kenobi. <laughs> You guys make me laugh. You guys make me laugh. We have Robbie Juan Kenobi from Corneth, Texas. We have Gregory from Buzzards Bay, Massachusetts. Des from Harrogate, England. Kasaba, Hungary. Petri from Leolarvi, Finland. Jevin, how you doing, Jevin? From Upper Sandusky, Ohio. John from East Hamden, Connecticut. Steve from Nashville. Milosh from Serbia, Belgrade. Jason from Pew all up Washington. We have Hawaii Mike. We have Jeff and Jill from Allen, Texas. We have Patrick from Roland, Poland. Hansen. Oh, many from Tuki Yekadin Sela Salamla. He's first time. No way. And that's the first time we've had somebody from Tuki Yekadin Salamla. Welcome, and, and Minnie will teach me the pronunciation on Monday. Thank you so much. We have Warren from Batavia, Ohio. We have Mr. Blake Wubba from Novato, California. We have Craig, Tyler, Ashlyn, and Michelle from Wurtz or Wurtz, Virginia. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's going to be awesome. That's the Bronskis. Woo! Baby. We're going to have so much fun at Hatfield. Okay. We have Alan from Austin, Texas. How you doing, Alan? We have Rosie the Cat from Scotland. We have Bowley Batch Holland. Wicked. We have Dean. That means something. We have Dean. <laughs> we have Dean from Leeds, Yorkshire, England. We have... That might mean something, too. We have GGB Design from Plano, Texas. Gary Badger. Gary Badger. How are you, Gary? All right. So how's everybody doing? Good? Fantastic. Good? Huh? Mm -hmm. Dan, thank you so much. You're awesome. Gage, you're awesome. Minnie, oh, you're the best. And the unit. I'm ready for a costume change. <laughs> it's good. Hey, everybody, have a great weekend. It's Leaf Weekend at the Sedgley House. I'm doing nothing but yard work, and I am stoked. It's good to be back in Indiana. I just love it here this time of year. October's my, oh, this is November. Yeah. Woo! We've had such a beautiful fall here. Hey, everybody, I always tell you we love you. We love you. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll be back next week. And Minnie's doing the festival live, and I'm writing names on the board. Hey, everybody, have a great one. I think this is a wrap. Right? We're good? We're rapping? Yeah, baby!